So it's January 2016 and I just wanted to give you guys an update on the dragon. I'm just scraping out a little bit of ash from the intake. But um, it turns out my design for the intake to inject the air up into the stack of wood was kind of fortuitous because I hadn't thought about the ash that could fall um, out of the stove as it builds up. But having it on roughly a 45 degree angle lets it basically self clear. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys an update. Pardon the ducks in the background. Right now it's about six degrees outside and the water coming from back from the house is 80 some degrees. Here's a quick shot of the sensors and the output. We've got actually 81 degree water coming back from the house. The tank temp right there and then the exchanger is actually rising. You'll see that change here in a second. Um, it's um, outputting 127 degrees plus right now. Um, that gets up to 140, 150-ish. And the outside temp, this is actually not correct because it picks up, it's mounted to the building and it picks up heat from the building. So this is actually off. But there you go, there's a little clip showing the sensors. You see that little swirl? going on there um, it's actually getting sucked down through the stove um, <clears throat> I did make a modification um, of the stove I had the stove there it goes clear pretty much um, I had the stove set up so that the air came up the riser tube let me adjust focus here came up the riser tube and then hit a plate and then went back down in sort of a bell tank and then came back up the outer and then through the stovepipe in the top. Well, uh, we went away for Thanksgiving and um, I stopped the stove down just so it wouldn't freeze because we were having a cold spell. And what that did was make a bunch of creosote. So anyhow, there's kind of a choke point right here where the stove um, had some creosote build up. And so it was, um, when I took it apart, I noticed that and I just decided, well, I'm gonna modify that design come summertime. So I actually just have the, the riser tube, the air goes across and then up. Um, and I just put wood in here, so I may not get this actually clear. It looks like it's actually smoking now. But um, I wanted you to hear the, wanted you to hear the roar. That's an awesome sound to me. It means it's keeping my family warm. So, the stove will burn anything. Um, obviously, a hard biomass like wood or these fire blocks um, give you a, a longer burn time. Um, I can get about 12 hours of burn time on the stove. Um, and. When, I, when I've got it um, not wide open. But the rest of the time, when it's really cold and I've got it wide open, I get between six and eight hours worth of burn time. So, all right, let's go outside. I'll stick the lid back on this puppy. Let's listen to that roar one more time. Oh uh, yeah. So, uh, we'll go outside and take a look at the stack. So you can see the heat coming out of it. There you go. I don't know if you can see that heat wave. I can see it with my naked eye. Hopefully you guys can see it, but occasionally it gets too hot in the house and my wife will open a window or whatever. Um, but that's a good problem to have. I'd rather have it putting out too much heat than too little. So there you have it folks, just an update for you.